गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिलीवर द लेक्चर ऑन कोऑर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड कोऑर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड दिस इज दिस टॉपिक इज बेसिकली इंक्लूडेड इन इनऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री it is very important and very easy topic when you understand the some basic concept related to this topic so it is a coordination chemistry in chemistry it deals with the complex compound having the central metal ions and ligand around the its main uh, metal ions so coordination chemistry is a study of such a types of complex called as coordination compound सो कोऑर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड मे का मेटल आय सेंट्रल मेटल आय लिजैन एंड इट्स सराउंडेड बाय द काउंटर आय सो दिस स्टडी ऑफ दिस टाइप ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स देन इट इज कॉल्ड एज कोऑर्डिनेशन केमिस्ट्री सो दिस इज अ टू एक्साम्पल्स ऑफ कोऑर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड कोऑर्डिनेशन कॉम्प्लेक्स इट कंटेन कोऑर्डिनेट बॉन्ड हेन्स इट इज कॉल्ड एज कोऑर्डिनेशन कॉम्प्लेक्सेस कॉम्प्लेक्सेस आर रिप्रेजेंटेड इन स्क्वेर ब्रैकेट सो स्क्वेर ब्रैकेट मध्य जो रिप्रेजेंट के कॉम्प्लेक्स मन आइड लो है जो साइड लाउंटर आय सो दीज आर द काउंटर आय एंड दिस इज अ मेन कॉम्प्लेक्स विच इज रिप्रेजेंटेड इन द स्क्वेर ब्रैकेट इट इज अट्रल मेटल आय एंड the number of ligands are attached number of donor atom which is attached to this central metal ion so this is called as complex it is a coordination complex so the it is a two examples of coordination complex one is cobalt as a central metal ion and in second complex fe as a central metal ion so in this uh, complex in first complex ammonia is a ligand whereas in second complex cn is a ligand so there are six ammonia which are coordinate bond six ammonia molecule nh3 molecule is coordinated to the cobalt whereas six cyanide molecules are coordinated to the fe molecule so this is all about coordination compounds let us understand some basic concept related to this coordination chemistry so when you understand some basic concept related to this coordination chemistry then you can easily answer the questions which are asked in cet exam tumhala ya madhe basic concepts ahet ja mahit asle pahije jase ki oxidation state formal charge charge on complex coordination number effective atomic number so this concept when you learn then you can uh, easily answer the questions which is asked on ct exam so ct exam basically ask the question which is topic on oxidation number effective atomic number and coordination number and iupsc nomenclature so this concepts are covered in this topic so yamade tumhala kay study karaycha ct exam sathi oxidation state yein tanantar coordination number charge on metal ion that is oxidation state then iupsc nomenclature as well as coordination number so see the basic concept first is a central metal ion when you identify the central metal ion then you can answer the questions that is which is central metal ion so this is the basic terms not always uh, terms for a ct exam but you can understand related to this coordination chemistry when you study the coordination chemistry first you know which is central metal ion so in this complex central metal ion is cobalt one metal ion is there which is at the center jari apan complex litana to eka end la lihat aslo writing when you write any complex name you can write the name at end of the complex but actually it is not at end it is at center it is at center and ligands are surrounded by the this central metal ion 
सेंट्रल मेटल आयन ला जे लिजेंट्स आहे ते सराउंड झालेले असतील आणि जो मेटल आयन आहे तो ऍट सेंटर अँड रिमेनिंग पार्ट इज कॉल्ड ऍज काउंटर आयन और आयनायझेशन स्पियर नेक्स्ट कॉन्सेप्ट इज लिजॅन सो इन द सेंट्रल मेटल आयन इज सराउंडेड बाय द लिजॅन हेन्स इट इज अमोनिया इज सराउंडेड बाय द लिजॅन दॅट इज अमोनिया इज सराउंडेड बाय द कोबाल्ट आयन हेन्स इट इज कॉल्ड ऍज लिजॅन और यू कॅन से दॅट इट इज अ न्यूट्रल आयन सिक्स अमोनिया मॉलिक्युल्स आर सराउंडेड बाय द कोबाल्ट नेक्स्ट इज अ कोऑर्डिनेशन कॉम्प्लेक्स कोऑर्डिनेशन स्पियर सो द स्पेअर ब्रॅकेट रिप्रेझेंटेड दॅट इट इज कोऑर्डिनेशन स्पियर सो दीज आर द बेसिक टर्म्स नेक्स्ट टर्म इज अ आयनायझेशन स्पियर सो देर आर टू स्पियर वन स्पियर इज कॉल्ड ऍज कोऑर्डिनेशन स्पियर अनदर स्पियर इज कॉल्ड ऍज आयनायझेशन स्पियर कोऑर्डिनेशन स्पियर मीन्स वॉट विच इज रिप्रेझेंटेड बाय द स्क्वेअर ब्रॅकेट अँड आयनायझेशन स्पियर मीन्स वॉट आयनायझेशन स्पियर इज रिप्रेझेंटेड बाय द नंबर ऑफ काउंटर आयन सो दिस काउंटर आयन इज कॉल्ड ऍज आयनायझेशन स्पियर अँड कोऑर्डिनेशन स्पियर मीन्स वॉट इट इज अ रिप्रेझेंटेड इन द स्क्वेअर ब्रॅकेट सो दीज आर द फोर बेसिक टर्म्स related to coordination chemistry first one is a central metal ions then ligand then coordination sphere and ionization sphere next is a types of coordination complex so uh, this is very important points they may ask the question which of the following is a homoleptic complex which of the following is a heteroleptic complex when you give the any competitive exam and in that there is a coordination chemistry so this question is very basic and it is very important concept in coordination chemistry that is homoleptic complex and heteroleptic complex so what is mean by homoleptic complex homoleptic complex means what when central metal ions is attached to similar similar molecule similar molecules are attached similar ligands are same types of ligand or only one type of ligand is attached to the central metal ions then it is called as homoleptic complex so see this example for in first example cobalt is attached to six ammonia molecule cobalt is attached to six ammonia molecule means what only one type of ligand only one type of ligand is attached hence it is called as homoleptic homo means similar and here it is a heteroleptic ligand so heteroleptic ligand means what one or more than one type of ligands are attached then it is a heteroleptic ligand heteroleptic complex so see this second example in which five ammonia molecules are present five ammonia molecules and one chlorine so these two different ligands are two different ligands are attached to the cobalt and here only one ligand is attached that is nh3 here nh3 and cl is present hence it is called as heteroleptic complex and it is called as homoleptic complex homo means similar hetero means different so you can find out the homoleptic complex in this way when there is a similar atom is attached similar ligands are attached to central metal ion it is called as homoleptic complex and when different more than one type of ligands are pre present attached to the complex then it is called as heteroleptic complex so these are the basic terms that is homoleptic complex it is a type of ligand type of complex homoleptic complex and heteroleptic complex next is a next uh, important concept is coordination number so coordination number means what actually it is a number of atoms attached to the metal ion 
नंबर ऑफ एटम इज अटैच टू द सेंट्रल मेटल आय इज कॉल्ड एज कोऑर्डिनेशन नंबर सो इन दिस एक्साम्पल देर आर सिक्स अमोनिया मॉलिक्यूल्स इज अटैच सिक्स अमोनिया मॉलिक्यूल इज अटैच टू द सेंट्रल मेटल आय रिस्को बाय so six ammonia molecule is attached to the central metal ion or it is a number of donor atom attached to the metal ion so this uh, this is a very important concept that is number of donor atom is attached to the central metal ion ata hi ji concept ahe yamadhe tumhi ek lakshat thevu shakta jar neutral molecule asel or monodentate ligand asel monodentate ligand monodentate ligand bidentate ligand means what monodentate means it gives only one donor atom is present bidentate ligand means it it has two donor atoms so ligands are uh, there are many types of ligand monodentate bidentate or polydentate you can identify the this type of ligand and then find out the coordination number ammonia is a neutral molecule or it is a monodentate ligand so it is its coordination number of cobalt is a 6 coordination number of cobalt is a 6 why it is 6 because only 6 ammonia molecule is attached to 6 ammonia molecule is attached to central metal atom that is cobalt hence the coordination number is 6 but when you find out when you uh, uh, observe the ethylene diamine complex ethylene diamine that is represented as a en it is a bidentate ligand so it coordination number is double because it is a bidentate ligand so correct of, uh, definition of this coordination number is number of donor atom attached to the metal ion tumhi so, donor atom calculate karnar aat how many number of donor atom is attached to the central metal ion that is called as coordination number then see this uh, explanation ammonia is a monodentate ligand therefore number of ligand is coordin uh, therefore coordination number of this complex is a 6 so uh, this is the coordination number it is very important they ask the question which is find out the coordination number for this metal ion so you can find out or for this complex find out the coordination number coordination number means what ya concept madhe tumhala kay lakshat thevaycha the number of donor atom which is attached to the central metal ion number of donor atom kiti ahet te jar monodentate ligand asel monodentate ligand asel tar jo number tumhala ithe disel bracket madhe toch tacha coordination number asel but when it is a bidentate ligand then it's a double polydentate asel tar ajun vegal asel ethylene diamine specific example remember the specific example that is en that is ethylene diamine which is bidentate ligand so when bidentate three bidentate ligand means coordination number is 6 why because it is bidentate ligand it has two donor atom by means two it has two donor atom and it it's a double that's why it contain coordination number is 6 next concept is charge on central metal ion so you can calculate the charge on central metal ion most of the cet exam questions which are asked on this point that is charge on central metal ion tumhi jevde questions magcha cet paper madle jar previous year cet exam madle jar question refer kela asal tar sagle question he most of the questions will be asked on this charge on central metal ion or calculate the oxidation state of central metal ion oxidation state charge on central metal ions both are same so how you can calculate the cent, uh, charge on central metal ion so first you know the basic things what is the charge on ligand ligand var to charge tumhala maiti asla pahije jase ki first ithe tu cobalt var cha charge calculate karun dakhavla hai ja madhe the charge on cobalt is consider as a q charge on cobalt is consider as a q plus 
there are six molecule six ammonia molecule are attached multiply by zero why zero is taken because it is a charge on ammonia ammonia is a neutral molecule that's why we can taken here the zero then plus 3 multiply by minus 1 why it is 3 3 because there are three chlorine atoms is there which are counter ion pair ionization pair they are also consider for the taking the charge on central ion when you uh, find out the coordination number jeva tumhi coordination number bagta tyavali tumhala chloride ions cha kahi consider nahi karaycha because chloride ion is a counter ion it is not consider in coordination number only the central metal ions is uh, attached to the ligand that will be consider in coordination number but when you find out the charge on central metal ions then you can consider both counter ion as well as ligand ligand are attached to the central metal ion so see in this example charge is consider as a q charge on cobalt which is consider as a q then six is taken because six ammonia molecules are attached hence here six will be taken ammonia molecule is a neutral molecule hence six into zero then plus three into one three into minus one so three for the chloride ions and this minus one for each chloride ions has Minus one charge, Cl minus. You have you know that a chloride ions or halogen atom, halide ions has minus charge. So it is a minus one, three into minus one, which is equal to zero. Why zero is taken because there is a no charge. Then Q six into zero six, three into minus one that is equal to minus three, six. Minus three that is equal to Q minus three, which is equal to zero, and Q is equal to minus three is go goes on right side. It converted into the plus three. So Q is equal to plus three. When you solve this equation, you get answer Q is equal to plus three. Now we can revise this all the terms. explain the terms coordination sphere coordination sphere lepticity is it is leptic or heteroleptic coordination number and charge on metal ion so you can solve this example and find out the each terms apply the each terms apply the each concept and give the answer first you can take a take a screenshot of this and solve try to solve this example the in first example terms this coordination sphere so coordination sphere means what it is represented i have already tell you that i have already said that the coordination sphere which is represented by the bracket so in square bracket madhe jo tumhala sphere sangitla hai tala mhanaycho coordination sphere next concept is ionization sphere ionization sphere means it is a counter ion so so4 minus is a counter ion for this first example then lepticity see the it is homoleptic or heteroleptic homoleptic means what similar ions are attached then you can say it is a homoleptic then it is a homoleptic when two different ions are attached then it is called as heteroleptic so first example is that is cobalt nh3 4 br2 toys so4 so two plus two charges on that cobalt so nh3 and br two different ions are present hence it is first complex is heteroleptic it is not homoleptic then coordination number coordination number means what how many ligands are attached to the cobalt directly attached to the cobalt that is called as coordination number so 
so nh3 is a neutral molecule nh3 is a monodentate ligand and br is also monodentate ligand so coordination number is 4 plus 2 two br atoms are at attached and four ammonia atoms are attached so 4 plus 2 total six atoms are ligands are attached to the cobalt hence coordination number is 6 charge on metal ions will be left aside next concept apply the next concept for, for the second complex second complex is pt nh34 so here two complex are there pt nh34 and pt cl4 so first complex is homoleptic why it is homoleptic because only one ammonia is attached only one ligand is attached that is four uh, four ammonia molecule is attached to the platinum and in second complex four chloride are attached to the platinum hence it is called as homoleptic complex see the second and its coordination number is for first complex coordination number is 4 and for second complex coordination number is 4 total coordination number is 8 then see the complex third that is chromium en3 no3 trice so here heteroleptic complex when we talk the lepticity it is a heteroleptic complex why it is heteroleptic because there is a ethylene diamine and no3 are attached so it is a heteroleptic complex then ethylene diamine when you talk the coordination number so number of donor atom attached to the first complex that is chromium is attached to the three ethylene diamine ethylene diamine is a bidentate ligand and it it has two donor atom so 3 multiply by 2 see this example 3 multiply by 2 and that is equal to 3 into 2 means 6 coordination number for chromium is a 6 then no3 trice is a outside the square bracket here it bracket is not there so uh, only the coordination complex is chromium ethylene diamine 3 then palladium nh3 trice twice and br2 so coordination number for palladium is a 4 because two ammonia molecule are attached and two bromine molecule are attached and it is a neutral molecule so charge the charge on you can count the charge on metal ion tumhi so charge pan has a count karu shakta pd is equal to pd is equal to palladium charge on palladium which consider as a q for ammonia there are two ammonia so 2 into 0 that is equal to 2 then br2 is equal to 2 into minus 1 why minus 1 is taken because halogen ions are halide ions has minus 1 charge so you can count this charge on metal ion that is 2 into minus 2 which is equal to 0 and charge on palladium is 2 into minus 2 so that is equal to minus 4 palladium has a charge minus 4 so you can in this way you can uh, study all these complexes and find out the terms that is coordination sphere ionization sphere lepticity coordination number and charge on metal ion you can take a screenshot and try to solve this all complexes so it is a some basic concept that is monodentate ligand bidentate ligand or polydentate ligand i have already says you that uh, monodentate ligand means what only one donor atom is present then it is 
मोनोडेंटेट डिजाइन क्लोराइड क्लोरो हाइड्रोक्सो अमाइन मिथिल अमाइन दीज आर द मोनोडेंटेट लिगैन then bidentate ligand which contain two donor atoms that is called as bidentate ligand so it is a example of bidentate ligand ethylene diamine which is represented as en small e and small n so ethylene diamine is a example of bidentate ligand and c2o4 2 minus c2o4 2 minus means oxalato complex oxalato ligand C2O4 2 minus is the second bidentate ligand. Next is a multidentate ligand that is EDTA. EDTA means what? Ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid. It is a hexadentate ligand. It has six donor atoms. Hence, it is called as multidentate ligand. so uh, remember this example first is a monodentate which is fluorine halogen amine ammonia that is amine nh3 hydroxo water is there chloro uh, bromine these are the example of bromo chloro hydroxo amine these are the example of monodentate mono means single it has only one donor atom bidentate means what the example of bidentate ligands that is two donor atoms are present in en en means ethylene diamine oxalato means c2o4 2 minus so it has also two minus charge see the charge on c2o4 that is two minus remember the charge and it is very useful when you find out the charge on central metal ion then c2o4 2 minus has C2O4 has two minus charge. Then ethylene diamine is a neutral, but it is a bidentate ligand. Then multidentate. The example of multidentate ligand is EDTA. EDTA means ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid. So EDTA is a multidentate ligand. multidentate means it is a hexadentate more than 2 that is consider as a multidentate so it has a six donor atom ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid so for ct point of view it is also important concept that is ionization isomer isomers many of these questions which is asked on this isomer topic तुम्हारा हा स्लाइड मे मैं जेवे कवर के पॉइंट्स पॉइंट पॉइंट्स वरती सीईटी वरती क्वेश्चन सीईटी एक्जाम मे क्वेश्चन है पैल चार्ज ऑन मेटल आयन कोऑर्डिनेशन नंबर यू नो फर्स्ट यू क्लियर द व्हेन यू स्टडी दिस टॉपिक कोऑर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड कोऑर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड देन यू कैन गेट क्लियर अबाउट चार्ज ऑन मेटल आयन दैट इज ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट कोऑर्डिनेशन नंबर एंड आइसोमर ओनली दिस थ्री कॉन्सेप्ट आर वेरी इम्पॉर्टंट when you study this three concept you can easily solve all this questions which is asked in cet exam so uh, you can find out the answer isomers means what their molecular formula is the same molecular formula is same but only difference in the arrangements of atoms so arrangements of atoms is only different but molecular formula is the same it is called as ionization isomer isomers uh, there are many types of isomers isomer manje nemka kay tar molecular formula same asel but tachi arrangement ji ahe tya molecule chi arrangement this only different so iso ionization isomers can be easily identify by using this technique tumhi identify kartana kay lakshat thevu shakta jacha jo counter ion ahe when you observe the complex first complex is ptcl2 nh34 br2 so here counter ion is br2 in first complex counter ion is br2 and inside the bracket there is 
Cl2 and NH3 four. Now see the second example. Pt, Br2, NH3 four and Cl2. So there is a only difference in Cl2 and Br2. In first complex, Cl2 is inside the bracket, and in second complex, Cl2 is outside the bracket. So there is an exchange of ion. Counter part is only different. That is called as ionization isomer. So ionization sphere. When you know the concept ionization sphere, you can easily find out the ionization isomers. Other ligands are same. Means this NH three four is a similar for both complexes. Also, this central metal ion is same. Central metal ion per same as a cell. जस कि हा एक्जाम्पल मध्य प्लैटिनम सेंट्रल मेटल आयन है इत प्लैटिनम एज अ सेंट्रल मेटल आयन है इतने फिर तुम्हारा का एन एच थ्री फोर इकड़े दिल इधे पन एच थ्री फोर चाहिए फिर चेन्ज कुछ है इधे इन साइड द ब्रैकेट सी एल टू है सो इन द इन साइड द ब्रैकेट देर इज अ क्लोराइड आयन सार अटैच एंड हियर ब्रोमाइड इज अटैच सो काउंटर आयन सार डिफरंट आयनाइजेशन Here is a different. So when you identify, you can easily identify the ionization isomer by using this technique. So here Cl2 is inside the bracket and Br2 is outside the bracket. And in second complex, Br2 is inside the bracket and Cl2 is outside the bracket. Means what? Only exchange of ionization sphere. Exchange of ionization sphere. That is the example of ionization isomer. Here molecular formula is the same, but different in arrangement of molecule. That is called as ionization isomer. Next is a polymerization isomers. So same stoichiometry is there, but different arrangement in a space. That is polymerization isomer. So this is an example of polymerization isomers, which is Arrangement in a space is only different. Same stoichiometry means there are stoichiometry is same. Stoichiometry means same means what? There cobalt is attached to three ammonia molecule and three nitrate molecule, NO two molecule. Hence, three is three is to three is a stoichiometry. Stoichiometry is the same, but different is arrangement of different arrangement in a space. So here seven compound with formula CO NH three trice NO two trice. So uh, only stoichiometry arrangement is a uh, different. That is the cobalt three three. Then coordination isomers. These are called as coordination isomers. Then linkage isomer. Linkage isomers which contain nitro and nitrito. That is N or O coordination possible. So see this example. Here arrangement of atom is different. It is ionization isomer. Then geometric isomers that is cis and trans. Cis means what? Cis means when central metal ions is attached to similar side of if the uh, two atoms are present on same side of central metal ions. Then it is called as cis, and if similar atoms are present, which are opposite side of central metal ion, that is called as trans. So here PtCl2 chloride ions, two chloride ions are attached same side of central metal ion. Central metal ion shall one side lahe don Cl lahe. Now about cis, and here trans ka lahe, that the two opposite side lahe, which is Cl is represented in green color molecule, that is called as Cis and here trans.
इट इज ऑल्सो सीज एंड ट्रांस इट इज एक्साम्पल ऑफ सीज एंड ट्रांस सो हियर सेम साइड ऑफ सेंट्रल मेटल आय देर इज अ टू क्लोरिन आर अटैच एंड हेन्स इट इज कॉल्ड एज सीज वेर एज दिस अरेजमेंट सेकेंड अरेजमेंट इज अ ट्रांस बिकॉज टू क्लोरिन आर अटैच आर अपोजिट साइड ऑफ सेंट्रल मेटल आय सो इट इज कॉल्ड एज ट्रांस so this is a three dimensional arrangement of cis and trans it is a geometrical isomers geometrical isomers te he types ahe cis and trans then it is a facial arrays uh, isomers and meridian isomers so these are the also example of isomers then enantiomers enantiomers and diastereo isomers these are the optical isomers optical isomers means what stereo isomers optical isomers means when you insert the optical light on any isomers which is rotate on one side either left side or right side ata ekhade molecule var tumhi light insert keli tyanantar tacha jo rotation see when when you observe the rotation of that molecule it is rotate at left side then it is a l isomer when it is rotate at right side it is a d isomer so d and l isomers and when it is possible it is related to enantiomer and diastereo isomer they are non superimposable mirror images of each other as like our hands our hands are non superimposable mirror images of each other see this example here our hands are given that is mirror which is when mirror is middle then on then and then they are superimposable but in reality both hands are not superimposable on mirror images uh, they are non superimposable mirror images of each other left hand is not match with the right hand tumhi jar baghitla tar non superimposable mirror images manje ka hai fakt tumhi mirror ghetlit madhe taras fakt te superimposable hou shaktat otherwise not real madhe nahi hai doni hands so as like this when there is a non superimposable mirror images and when you rotate any light when you insert light on the molecule it gives the rotation if it is gives the rotation at left side it is called as l isomer and if rotate at right side it gives the d isomer then next part is a next important point is a nomenclature for the coordination compound so for nomenclature you know the concept first you find out the ligand first you write the name first ligand then central metal ion then oxidation state is important and ionic sphere is important see this example a that is naptcl3 nh3 so counter ions that is cationic complexities and na plus is on first given is sodium outside the bracket so here sodium is right first then you can use the prefix such as di tri tetra penta then hexa hepta for the ligand how many ligands are attached you can write the name here tri chloro then amine and platinum platinum is a central metal ion which is converted into the platinate so at is a suffix used for the central metal ion when you write the complex name ate is a suffix used for the complex name jeva tumhi complex cha naav liyal teva jo central metal ion asel tela konta suffix vaparnar aat ate then in bracket you can write the oxidation state that is charge on metal ion त्या मेटल आयन वरती जो चार्ज तुम्ही काउंट करणार आहात त्याची जी ऑक्सिडेशन स्टेट असेल ती रोमन मध्ये नंतर लिहायची आहे सो ती इम्पॉर्टंट आहे रोमन मध्ये जे लिहिले ती आहे ऑक्सिडेशन स्टेट सो सोडियम 
is a counterpart then chlorine is there there are three chlorine hence trichloro then amine platinate two platinum is a central metal ion which is converted into the platinate then tumhi jeva dry di ट्राय टेट्रा ही कन्सेप्ट को जे फिमागे को प्रिफिक्स नहीं है कि ज्यादा वर्ड मध्य ऑलरेडी डाय ट्राय तुम्हें प्रेफिक्स वपरू शक नहीं जस की सी एक्जाम्पल एक्जाम्पल नंबर सी दैट इज थर्ड एक्जाम्पल दैट इज ट्रांस सीओ ई एन टू ई एन टू मीन्स वॉट ई एन टू मीन्स इथिलीन डायमाइन सो यू कैन यूज द प्रिफिक्स as instead of di tri you can use the prefix that is bis bis tris this prefix is used for the ethylene diamine ja word madhe already di asel tar tya sathe tumhi di tri vapru shakat nahi tar konta vaprava lagel bis tis ya paddhatichu compound use karava lagel ya paddhatichu name bis prefix vaprava lagel so these are the rules for the iupsc nomenclature we cannot go the detail in this iupsc nomenclature rule but only see the overview of this rule that is di tri tetra penta hexa hepta octa nona deca and deca and do deca so so di tri tetra penta hexa hepta octa nona deca and un deca do deca so these are the uh, prefixes when you use the ligand ligand konta hi asel tar tumhi he use karu shakta pan jar tya ligand madhe already jar yatla word asel di tri tetra kutla hi word asel tar tumhi he prefix use na karta bis tris tetra इस देन पेंटा किस तुम्हें हा पद्धति से प्रेफिक्स वे लगते सो जस की इथिलीन डायमाइन हेज ओन ऑलरेडी देर इज अ डाय सो वी कैन नॉट यूज द डाय प्रिफिक्स फॉर इथिलीन डायमाइन वी यूज दैट बीस सो दिस रूल इज वेरी इम्पॉर्टंट next rule is dimethyl sulfide dmso urea so you can uh, noted note down there neutral ligands which are same as a uncoordinate but with the sphere it is a uh, omitted so specific examples are urea tetrapyridine so this these are the example of neutral ligand so uh, we cannot go detail in that uh, rules रूल तुम्हाला ऑलरेडी झालेलेच आहे ट्वेल्थ मध्ये आपल्याला जे फक्त सीईटी एक्झाम साठी इम्पॉर्टंट आहे तेवढेच रूल आपण इथं डिस्कस करूया जेणेकरून तुम्ही नोमेन क्लचर इझिली करू शकता नोमेन क्लचर पार्ट वरती खूप सारे क्वेश्चन विचारलेले आहेत नोमेन क्लचर ऑक्सिडेशन स्टेट दॅट इज चार्ज ऑन सेंट्रल मेटल आयन अँड कोऑर्डिनेशन नंबर सो ऍसिटॅटो सल्फॅटो कार्बोनॅटो ऍसिले नोटॅटो सो इथे तुम्ही जेव्हा पहिलं नायट्रॉइड लिहायचे आता नायट्रिडो लिहिता सो ही त्याची नावं फक्त लक्षात ठेवा ज्यामध्ये त्याचं कन्व्हर्जन होत आहे क्लोराईड असेल तर क्लोरो नायट्रो असेल तर नायट्रिडो अझिडो अझाइड ज्या लिग्यांच्या लास्टला आय डी ई असेल तर त्याचं कन्व्हर्जन हे आय डी ओ मध्ये होत मीन्स नायट्रॉइड गेट कन्व्हर्टेड इन टू द नायट्रिडो अझाइड गेट कन्व्हर्टेड इन टू अझिडो अमाइड गेट कन्वर्टेड इन टू अमिडो एंड डायमिथिल माइड कन्वर्टेड इन टू डायमिथिल अमिडो सो आय डी ई इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू द आय डी ओ देन आय टी ई ऑल्सो कन्वर्टेड इन टू द आय टी ओ नायट्राइट कन्वर्टेड इन टू नायट्रिटो सल्फाइट कन्वर्टेड इन टू सल्फिटो एंड क्लोराइड इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू द क्लोरिटो सो हे रूल तुम्हाला माहिती पाहिजे कशाचं कन्वर्जन कशामध्ये होत आहे आय डी इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू आय डी ओ अँड आय टी इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू आय टी ओ
then cyanide cn minus is convert see, remember this some example that is ya tumhala ligand che je specific names ahet te kashane ghetay so cyano sagle je ligand ahet anionic ligands are ended with the o these are all are anionic ligand what is mean by cationic ligand what is mean by anionic ligand so cationic ligand means what it has a minus charge cationic ligand means positive charge and anionic ligand means negative charge so cn minus has a negative charge and hence it is a cyanide is called as cyano fluoride fluoro cl minus chloro br minus bromo iodo oxo means o2 minus peroxo means o3 uh, o2 to minus then superoxo means o2 minus 2 oh minus means hydroxo h minus means hydrido and ch3o minus means methoxo cyano chloro chloro bromo iodo and oxo हे जे आहेत हे इम्पॉर्टंट आहेत पर ऑक्सो सुपर ऑक्सो हायड्रोक्सो हायड्रिडो दे आर दिज आर द रेअर रेअर अनायनिक लिगॅन बेसिक लक्षात ठेवा सायनो फ्लोरो क्लोरो ब्रोमो आयडो देन फॉर देर इज अ कन्सिडर ॲज अनायर आर गिव्हिंग देअर नेम विदाउट एंडिंग ओ सम एक्झाम्पल्स आर सो ऑर्गॅनिक ग्रुप जर ॲज अ लिगॅन म्हणून असेल तर तुम्ही मिथिल इथिल प्रोपिल अँड फिनिल सो दिज आर द ऑर्गॅनिक लिगॅन दे आर नॉट एंडिंग विथ द ओ देन जे मेटल आयन आहे त्याला ए टी हा सफिक्स लागेल so it is a scandium is converted into scandate titanium is converted into the titanate zirconium is converted into zirconate niobium is converted into niobate rudeium is converted into rudenate so all are palladium is converted into the palladate so ium is replaced by ate ium is replaced by ate AT is a suffix used for the all metal ion central metal ion then some uh, for the other metal name is given by ending ET manganese converted into the magnet cobalt converted into the cobaltate see here at the end there is a ATE as a suffix suffix is at the last nickel nickelate molybdenum molybdate then tantalum tantalate then tungsten tungstenate platinum platinate so these are the metal ions which are ended with the ate as a suffix then the name of some metal ions are based on latin name of the element that is for iron it is ferret लॅटिन नेम पण तुम्हाला लक्षात ठेवावे लागतील आयन साठी आपण फेरेट युज करतो कॉपर साठी क्युपरेट सिल्वर साठी अर्जिनेट अँड गोल्ड साठी ऑरेट सो दिज आर द लॅटिन नेम वी यूज द लॅटिन नेम फॉर दिस पर्टिक्युलर मेटल आयन सो हे जे स्पेसिफिक एक्झाम्पल आहे ऑल मेटल आयन आर एंडेड विथ द ए टी ई ए टी ए मधून तुम्ही कन्वर्ट करू शकता मीन्स आय डी यू एम इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू द मगाच्या एक्झाम्पल मध्ये डी आय यू एम इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू द ए टी बट इन दिस एक्झाम्पल दिज आर द सम एक्झाम्पल देर इज अ नो आय यू एम बट इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू द ए टी इट एंडेड विथ द प्रेफिक्स ए टी ई ज्याच्या नावाच्या लास्टला ए टी ई असेल तर ते सेंट्रल मेटल आयनचं नाव असेल फक्त तुम्हाला काय लक्षात ठेवायचं आहे लॅटिन वर्ड वरनं पण कन्वर्ट झालेलं आहे लॅटिन नेम सच एज आयन असेल कॉपर असेल सिल्वर आणि गोल्ड या चौघांसाठी फेरेट क्युपरेट अर्जिनेट आणि ऑरेट गोल्ड साठी ऑरेट आहे सो दिज आर द एक्झाम्पल ऑफ सम आयुपीएससी नॉमेन क्लेचर्स आर गिवन देन 
ligands are the capable of linkage of isomer specific names for the attachment that is common name for scn minus scn s means sulfur cn means cyanide so sulfur is converted into the thio thio cyanato thio cyanato means scn isothio cyanato means what ncs then selino cyanato then isocello cyanato and no2 minus means nitro and nitrito then water molecules are present you can count the water molecules that is monohydrate cis q hydrate means 1.5 h2o there is a, if water molecules attach then it is a for copper sulfate pentahydrate five water molecules are present copper sulfate pentahydrate this example is not given in this slide but uh, that is example remember this example copper sulfate pentahydrate means copper sulfate the formula hai cuso4 pentahydrate means 5h2o are present so it is copper sulfate pentahydrate so by using this all rule by by using this all study uh, study of this rule we can solve this example iupsc nomenclature of this complexes that is first complex is cobalt nh3 5 co3 cl so here co3 means what it is a carbonato first there is a ligand ligand cha conversion tumhi karnar ahat ja madhe pahila bidentate monodentate asa sequence ne apan ghenar ahat so carbonato ligand first then five amo amino ligands are present so it is a cobalt carbonate carbonato pentamine pentamine why because five amines are present then cobalt cobalt co chloride so here three cobalt uh, cobalt ch oxidation state ji ahe ti three cobalt then chloride then see the la last example that is potassium penta cyano nitrate sulfurate to dihydrate dihydrate is taken because of 2h2 are present then nitrito that is no and penta cyano cn5 hence it is penta cyano is taken then we solve the cet question so quad uh, the the cet questions which are asked in previous cet exam solve this uh, try to solve this some questions which is based on a basic concept which are i have already discussed with you that is coordination compound coordination compound cha atta ja kai apan concept bagitle ahet tyas varun he questions tumhala solve karayche ahet see this question which is asked in any uh, other competitive exam similar type of questions they ask on cet exam also oxidation number of nickel in nickel c2o4 thrice 4 minus how you can find out this oxidation number so oxidation number means what it is a charge on central metal ions so you can find out the charge on central metal ions c2o4 c2o4 means what oxalato ions which is so charge is consider as a q plus how many c2o4 is there there are 3 c2o4 so three molecules are present
सो क्यू प्लस थ्री इन ब्रैकेट देर इज अ माइनस टू प्लस दैट इज इक्वल टू माइनस फोर देन थ्री क्यू प्लस क्यू माइनस सिक्स क्यू माइनस सिक्स दैट इज इक्वल टू माइनस फोर So q minus six that is equal to minus four and q is equal to so here three into two that is equal to minus six. So charge on nickel is considered as a q. Then minus four becomes a minus six becomes a plus six when it get on shift on right side. Minus four plus six that is equal to plus two. So here answer is. Plus two. The charge on nickel is a plus two. Why we can take an here minus two because this oxalate complex is has minus two charge and there are three oxalate ligand. Three oxalate ligand. So three into two that is equal to three into minus two. Hence here minus six. Minus four is why taken because for minus four is a total charge on complexes. That is minus four. Here we cannot take a zero. Zero can I get? Like minus four is can I get? Like that minus four he cut a hai complex ja charge worthy hai last la. So that means the answer ja hai correct answer ja hai the plus two. That is option C is the correct. Next is the oxidation state oxidation number of gold in complexes AuCl four. So this question is asked in MHT CET 2018. So see this question is very important oxidation number. You can calculate oxidation number. So Q charge on AU is considered as a Q. Then there is a plus. Then in bracket how many chloride are there? Four chloride are there. So here four into minus one. Why minus one? We can take an minus one is for charge on Chloride Cl has a minus charge. Then outside the bracket there is a minus charge. Hence here minus one. Then Q is equal to Q minus four. Then minus one and Q is equal to minus one plus four. That is equal to minus one. Get minus four is converted into the Plus four minus one plus four. Hence here plus three is the correct answer. So what is the answer? Plus three is the oxidation state. So correct option is plus three. Solve this. Q plus. अतः इतने बगास अपन एक ऐसा सॉल्व के लाये तर ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट जी आहे AU ची ती अपने लाला काढ़ाई से ऑक्सीडेशन नंबर which is taken as a consider as a Q. Then plus sign. It is a formula plus. Why four is taken? There are four chlorine is present. Why minus one is taken? Because of there is a charge on chloride is minus one. Hence in bracket we can take an minus one. Why outside the bracket there is a is equal to minus one is taken. Why not zero? The magat chaya chaya madhe tumi ita minus four gitla. Ya charge sati apar minus one gitla. तो हे वेगवे कॉम्प्लेक्स वेगवे कस बिकॉज इट इज अ चार्ज ऑन कॉम्प्लेक्सेस ओवरऑल चार्ज ऑन कॉम्प्लेक्स टोटल चार्ज जो आहे कॉम्प्लेक्स का तो अपन इतने घेन आो मैनस वन कुछ आला है एयू सी एल फोर मैनस इत मैनस वन आल जेव तुम्हें इक्वेशन सॉल्व करा क्यू मैनस फोर इज इक्वल टू मैनस वन क्यू इज इक्वल टू का प्लस थ्री प्लस थ्री कस आल तो मैनस वन प्लस फोर दैट इज इक्वल टू प्लस थ्री सो दी यू कैन सॉल्व इन दिस वे तुम्हें हम तो हे स्क्रीनशॉट घे शकता कस सॉल्व के लिए एकदा व्यवस्थित बगा ऑक्सीडेशन नंबर 
ऑक्सिडेशन नंबर ही व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट कॉन्सेप्ट आहे यावरती सगळे मोस्ट क्वेश्चन हे ऑक्सिडेशन नंबर वरती विचारलेले आहेत आय यू पी एस सी नॉमेन क्लेचर पण तेवढंच इम्पॉर्टंट आहे पण जर तुम्हाला ऑक्सिडेशन नंबर जमत असेल तर तुम्ही हे इझिली सॉल्व्ह करू शकता जर तुम्हाला हे सॉल्व कन्सेप्ट समजली असेल तर सो फोर आणि मायनस वन तुम्हाला फक्त काय माहिती पाहिजे तर त्याचा चार्ज न्यूट्रल मॉलिक्यूल आहे की कॅटायन आहे एनायन आहे ज्यावरती चार्ज कोणता आहे तो माहिती पाहिजे हा या चार्ज वरून तो ब्रॅकेट मध्ये जो लिहिलाय मायनस वन इज अ चार्ज फॉर क्लोराइड सो देर आर फोर क्लोराइड आय आर प्रेझेंट अँड हेन्स हिअर वी कॅन टेक एन अ फोर इंटू मायनस वन सो क्यू इज अ चार्ज विच इज कन्सिडर इज अ चार्ज ऑक्सिडेशन नंबर जो आपल्याला फाइंड आउट करायचा आहे त्यासाठी आपण इथं काय घेतलंय क्यू कन्सिडर केलंय क्यू प्लस फोर वाय फोर इज टेकन इथं आपण फोर का घेतले तर क्लोराइड फोर आहेत म्हणून आपण इथं फोर घेतलंय देन मायनस वन मायनस वन इज टेकन फॉर चार्ज ऑन क्लोराइड सी एल वरती जो चार्ज आहे तो मायनस वन आहे दॅट इज इक्वल टू मायनस वन सो मायनस वन हे कुठून आले सांगा जो कम्प्लीट ब्रॅकेट वरती जो चार्ज आहे टोटल कॉम्प्लेक्स वरचा चार्ज हा मायनस आहे या क्वेश्चन मार्क्सच्या आधी इथं मायनस साईन आहे सो मायनस वन इज अ टोटल चार्ज ऑन कॉम्प्लेक्स सो वी कॅन टेक एन हिअर द मायनस वन देन वेन यू सॉल्व्ह दिस इक्वेशन फोर इंटू मायनस वन दॅट इज इक्वल टू मायनस फोर क्यू मायनस फोर इज इक्वल टू मायनस वन अँड क्यू इज इक्वल टू प्लस थ्री मायनस फोर गेट कन्वर्टेड इंटू द प्लस फोर मायनस वन प्लस फोर हेन्स इट इज आन्सर इज प्लस थ्री सो करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज बी दॅट इज प्लस थ्री सो सिमिलर एक्झाम क्वेश्चन दॅट इज द सम ऑफ कोऑर्डिनेशन नंबर अँड ऑक्सिडेशन नंबर हिअर ऑल्सो यू कॅन फाइंड आउट द ऑक्सिडेशन नंबर फर्स्ट यू कॅन फाइंड आउट द कोऑर्डिनेशन नंबर अँड देन ट्राय टू सॉल्व्ह द ऑक्सिडेशन नंबर इट इज अ सिमिलर एक्झाम्पल सो इन बोथ इन इन दिस एक्झाम्पल वी कॅन फाइंड आउट द कोऑर्डिनेशन नंबर ॲज वेल ॲज ऑक्सिडेशन नंबर आता जसं आपण या स्टेपमध्ये ऑक्सिडेशन नंबर फाइंड आउट केलाय सिमिलर तुम्हाला सिमिलरली या कॉम्प्लेक्ससाठी सुद्धा ऑक्सिडेशन नंबर फाइंड आउट करायचा आहे सो द सम आणि त्या दोघांचे सम करून तुम्ही काय लिहिणार आहात ऑक्सिडेशन सो द सम ऑफ कोऑर्डिनेशन नंबर अँड ऑक्सिडेशन नंबर फॉर द मेटल आयन एम आता ह्या मेटलचा जो मेटल आयन आपल्याला दिलं नाहीये फक्त एम दिले त्या एमचं कोऑर्डिनेशन नंबर आणि ऑक्सिडेशन नंबर ते सम करायचे सो इथे बघा कोऑर्डिनेशन नंबर जो आहे तो तुम्ही कसा फाइंड आउट करणार आहात नंबर ऑफ दोन आर ॲटम विच इज अटॅच टू द सेंट्रल मेटल आयन सो हिअर टू इथिलिन मॉलिक्युल्स आर अटॅच बट इथिलिन मॉलिक्युल इज अ बायडेंटेटली जॉईन सो टू इंटू टू त्याच्यात तुम्ही डबल घेणार आहात टू इंटू टू दॅट इज इक्वल टू फोर अँड सी टू ओ फोर मायनस टू मायनस इट इज ऑल्सो बायडेंटेटली जॉईन सो टोटल कोऑर्डिनेशन नंबर इज अ सिक्स कोऑर्डिनेशन नंबर इज अ सिक्स आता कोऑर्डिनेशन नंबर आपला फाइंड आउट करून झालाय सिक्स सिक्स कसं आलंय तर इथिलिन डायमाइन साठी टू आहे टू इंटू टू टू इंटू टू का केलं तर इथिलिन डायमाइन इज अ बायडेंटेट लिजन इट हॅज टू डोनर आयटम से हेन्स वी कॅन कन्वर्टेड इंटू टू इंटू टू दॅट इज इक्वल टू फोर देन फोर प्लस सी टू ओ फॉर टू मायनस टू मायनस ऑक्झलेटो इज ऑल्सो बायडेंटेट लिजन hence it is converted into the it gives a two donor atom hence 2 in 4 uh, in plus 2 that is equal to 6 then oxidation number for oxidation number for metal ion complex you can find out the oxidation number by using चार्ज चार्ज कन्सिडर ॲज अ क्यू देन प्लस इथिलिन डायमाइन इज अ न्यूट्रल मॉलिक्यूल बट देर आर टू इथिलिन मॉलिक्यूल सो टू इंटू झिरो 
चार जॉन इथिलीन डायमाइन इज अ टू चार जॉन इथिलीन डायमाइन इज अ झिरो बट इट इज अ कन्सिडर देन सी टू ओ फोर टू मायनस सी टू ओ फोर मीन्स टू मायनस सी टू ओ फोर टू मायनस सो देर आर टू सी टू ओ फोर ओनली वन सी टू इज देअर हिअर ओनली वन वन सी टू इज देअर अँड मायनस टू इज अ चार्ज ऑन सी टू ओ फोर विच इज इक्वल टू चार्ज ऑन टोटल कॉम्प्लेक्सेस इज झिरो ओके मायनस वन इज देअर बिकॉज चार्ज ऑन क्लोराइड आयन्स आर काउंटर पार्ट सो हिअर मायनस वन इज देअर अँड वेन यू सॉल्व दिस इक्वेशन देर इज अ क्यू इज इक्वल टू प्लस थ्री क्यू इज इक्वल टू यू कॅन सॉल्व दिस इक्वेशन ट्राय टू सॉल्व दिस इक्वेशन अँड चार्ज ऑन मेटल आयन्स इज इक्वल टू प्लस थ्री सो सिक्स प्लस थ्री दॅट इज इक्वल टू सी इज अ करेक्ट ऑप्शन दॅट इज नाईन इज अ करेक्ट ऑप्शन फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन सो नाईन इज अ करेक्ट आन्सर या आन्सरसाठी नाईन हे करेक्ट ऑप्शन आहे या क्वेश्चनसाठी नाईन इज अ करेक्ट आन्सर देन द करेक्ट चार्ज ऑन अँड कोऑर्डिनेशन नंबर ऑफ एफ ई इन के थ्री एफ ई सी एन सिक्स आर रिस्पेक्टिवली think on this question and comment me what is the charge on or what is coordination number for this complexes k3 fe cn6 first you give the answer for the comment me the answer that is coordination number and charge try to find out the answer for the oxidation state of fe or charge give the correct option i will give you sometimes and try to solve this question within 3 to 2 minutes 3 to 5 minutes so what is coordination number for this complex what is coordination number give me the answer coordination number means what how many ligands are attached to the central metal ion so coordination number is 6 why 6 because there are 6 cn minus 6 cn cyanide ions are ligand are attached to this complex so it is a 6 cn are attached to the fe hence it is coordination number is 6 so ata option konte rahile ahet baka coordination number 6 asel tar option b ani c tumhi jar coordination number easily find out kela it is 6 cn ahet mhanun coordination number kay ahe 6 or b option may be or c now the question arises charge on central metal ion so for this ions first you can find out the 
potassium is there so potassium that is three potassium are there so three into plus one three into plus one three into plus one then 3 into plus three into plus 1 for fe it is consider as a charge consider on fe is a x or q you can consider the charge on fe or it is q q consider then cn6 cn how many cyanide are there six cyanide are there and cyanide has a minus 1 charge hence 6 into minus 1 and total charge on complex is 0 so 3 into plus 1 plus x plus 6 minus 1 that is equal to 0 so total charge is x is equal to plus 3 so plus 3 and 6 is a correct option plus 3 and 6 is a correct option for this question plus 3 and Plus three and six. So correct option is plus three and six. So this question asked in CET two thousand seventeen, two thousand seventeen, two thousand eighteen. They asked the repeatedly asked question on charge on central metal ions and coordination number. then which of the following is a neutral complex so pt nh3 twice cl2 that is option a is a neutral complex because the overall charge on this complex is a zero and on dissociation in aqueous solution no ions will be produced तो हे जो तुम्हें जर डिशन बगित प्रत्येक कॉम्प्लेक्स डिशोसिशन ऑप्शन ए इज अ करेक्ट बट वेन यू सी द ऑप्शन बी दैट इज कोबाल्ड एन एच थ्री सिक्स सी एल थ्री देन इट इज अ कैटाइनिक कॉम्प्लेक्स एंड इट गिव्स द डिस आफ्टर डिशोसिशन इट डिशोसिट इन टू सी ओ एन एच थ्री सिक्स थ्री प्लस प्लस थ्री सी एल माइनस थ्री सी एल माइनस आर प्रोड्यूस एंड कॉम्प्लेक्स हैविंग द पॉजिटिव चार्ज सो इट इज अ कैटाइनिक कॉम्प्लेक्स next option is a c nickel nh36 cl2 so in this way there is a it is also cationic complex in which nickel nh36 2 plus having the positive charge and it is also cationic complex then k4 fecn6 so plus 4 4 k plus and fecn6 has a negative charge so it has negative charge and both have the positive charge but only one is there that is pt nh3 twice cl2 which is do not produce any ions after the dissociation so it is a correct option it is a neutral molecule it produces a cationic complex it also produces cationic complex and it produces the anionic complex so correct option is pt nh3 twice cl2 after dissociation it do not produce any ions hence it is called as neutral complex neutral complex tumhi kadi sangu shakta jeva to complex konta hi ions after dissociation konta hi positive ions positive complex kiwa negative complex madhe tacha conversion honar nahiye jar tumhi option b bagitla tar tacha pasun co nh36 3 plus plus 3 cl minus means cationic complex is formed then ni nh36 cl2 means there is a nickel nh36 2 plus cationic ions complex is form and k4 fecn6 that is anionic complex is form fecn6 minus charge yail complex varti jeva minus charge yail teva to anionic complex total charge jar positive asel tar to cationic complex ani jar charge nasel tar to jhala neutral complex NH3Cl2 is a neutral complex so correct option is 
this is not correct because it is cationic it is anionic it is also cationic and it is a neutral complex so mood salt it is also important concept which is asked in kcet karnataka ct 2015 so mhct also they may ask the question on mood salt mood salt means what it is a double salt and having the formula that is ammonium ferrous sulfate ammonium ferrous sulfate or ferrous ammonium sulfate is called as mood salt and formula for ferrous ammonium sulfate is FeSO4 NH4 twice SO4 6H2 so it is a hexahydrate molecule what is the hexahydrate molecule So, so here it's six H two are present. Six H two is there. So, question is how many water molecules are present? How many water molecules are present? so this is a formula for ferrous ammonium sulfate ferrous ammonium sulfate is called as mool salt it is a double salt and it has a six water molecules hence the excess of water that is six water molecules so it is a hint hint of this question mool salt mantla ta tumhala ha formula lakshat ala pahije ja varun tumhi easily answer karu shakta ki ithe so4 ahe so4 six water molecules are present hence it is a hydrated molecule then the type of chemical bond present in copper sulfate h2o are this question is asking mhct 2019 so copper sulfate penta hydrates are present copper sulfate penta hydrate here water molecule as a act as a ligand so their coordinate bonds must be present coordinate covalent bond coordinate covalent bond means what it is a coordinate covalent bonds is present in complexes so copper sulfate pentahydrate coordinate covalent bond is there and in copper and sulfate there is a covalent bond so correct option is a that is covalent coordinate covalent coordinate covalent bond the chelating ligands which is used in treatment of lead poisoning that is ethene diamine edta that is ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid dimethyl glyoxamine and none of these so yes the answer is treatment of lead poisoning so yamade uh, lead poisoning sathi kon treatment kon ta ligand use kele jata so edta is the correct answer uses of ligand uses of applications of this ligand in which treatment for the lead poisoning this uh, a question asked in another competitive exam that is edta is used for this lead poisoning treatment then this question asked in kcet 2014 iupsc name of the complex ion forms when gold is dissolved in aqua regia so gold gold means silver gold means au 
the gold means au which is dissolved in aqua regia aqua regia is a mixture of it is called as royal water and it is a mixture of hcl and hno3 so when four moles of hcl and hno3 is dissolved in gold there is a formation of aucl4 minus complex complex form is aucl4 minus au cl4 minus try to give the iupac nomenclature for this au cl4 minus au and cl4 minus you can find out the oxidation state of au that is minus 1 is there total charge on complex is minus 1 and how many ligands are attached four so four minus one first you can find out the oxidation number oxidation number find out kela ta tumhi ta answer cha ek jawal pas pochu shakta manje four minus one kelyavar minus three hai so minus three manje plus three charge kiti hoil minus three is converted into the plus three so charge on silver is plus three so the plus three che don option ahe option a and option d चार्ज किती आहे सिल्वर वरचा प्लस थ्री ऑक्सिडेशन नंबर फॉर द एयू इज अ प्लस थ्री सो प्लस थ्री आल्यामुळे आन्सर ऑप्शन आपल्याकडे दोन आहेत ऑप्शन ए आणि डी सो ए मध्ये जर तुम्ही कम्पेअर केलं तर इथं टेट्रा आहे आणि डी मध्ये डाय आहे सो आता आन्सर तुम्हाला डायरेक्टली दिसत आहे टेट्राच येईल कारण का देर आर फोर क्लोरिन इज देअर देर आर फोर क्लोरिन आयटम्स आर अटॅच टू द सिल्वर हे टेट्रा क्लोरो or it tetra chloro or it and it is a dichloro or it for there are no 2cl2 hence correct option is a why ata he or it kasa ala hai tar jo chloro or it acid form hota je jeva tumhi gold aqua regia madhe dissolve karta when you dissolve the gold in aqua regia there is a formation of chloro or it acid and when it combine with silver there is a formation of chloro or it complex and there are four chlorine is attached to the silver not silver it is a au gold four chlorine is attached to the gold hence it is a tetra chloro or it and why there is only tetra chloro or it he teen char option ahet chloro cha conversion chlorido madhe jale modern nomenclature madhe chloro vapartat kiwa ma आता रिसेंट जे नॉमेन क्लचर है त्यामध्ये क्लोरिडो वापरतात सो क्लोरिडो ऑरेट आणि ऑक्सिडेशन नंबर तुम्हाला माहिती पाहिजे आता टेट्रा क्लोरो ऑरिडेट क्लोरिडो ऑरेट हे तीन ठिकाणी दिले पण पहिल्याचे ऑक्सिडेशन स्टेट थ्री आहे वन आहे आणि टू आहे सो बेटर वे आहे की तुम्ही पहिलं ऑक्सिडेशन स्टेट फाइंड आउट करा मग तुम्ही आन्सरच्या आसपास जाऊ शकता जसं की आन्सर मध्ये पहिल्यांदा दिले ऑप्शन ए आणि डी दोघांना प्लस थ्री ऑक्सिडेशन स्टेट आहे ऑक्सिडेशन स्टेट तुम्ही फाइंड आउट केलं प्लस थ्री येते व्हाय प्लस थ्री बिकॉज सिल्वर हॅज सिल्वर चार्ज ऑन सिल्वर इज कन्सिडर ऍज अ क्यू फॉर ऑक्सिडेशन स्टेट सिल्वरची चार्ज कन्सिडर तुम्ही क्यू केलंय प्लस फोर इंटू मायनस वन अँड इज इक्वल टू टोटल चार्ज ऑन complex is minus 1 then for a q minus 4 so minus 1 q is equal to minus 1 plus 4 that is equal to plus 3 so charge on silver is plus 3 and hence it is a correct option is tetra chloro or it uh, chlorido or it plus 3 then which among the following is the strongest ligand 
ज्याचं स्ट्रॉंगेस्ट फील्ड असेल इलेक्ट्रोमॅग्नेटिक फील्ड जर स्ट्रॉंग असेल त्याला तुम्ही स्ट्रॉंगेस्ट रिजाइन एज अ कन्सिडर करू शकता सो सी एन मायनस विल प्रोड्यूस स्ट्रॉंगेस्ट क्रिस्टल फील्ड सो क्रिस्टल फील्ड थिअरी अकॉर्डिंग टू क्रिस्टल फील्ड थिअरी सी एन मायनस विल प्रोड्यूस स्ट्रॉंगेस्ट फील्ड हिन्स इट इज अ स्ट्रॉंगेस्ट रिजाइन इन द इलेक्ट्रोमॅग्नेटिक स्पेक्ट्रम इलेक्ट्रोमॅग्नेटिक स्पेक्ट्रम मध्ये ज्याचं फील्ड स्ट्रॉंग असेल त्याला आपण स्ट्रॉंगेस्ट रिजाइन म्हणणार आहोत सीओ ई एन सी एन अँड एन एच थ्री एन एच थ्री इज अ न्यूट्रल ए एन इज अ बाय डेंटेड बट सी एन हॅज अ ऍज कम्पेअर टू ई एन सी एन विल प्रोड्यूस मोर स्ट्रॉंगेस्ट फील्ड हिन्स इट इज अ सी एन विल प्रोड्यूस अ मोस्ट मॅग्नेटिक स्ट्रॉंगेस्ट मॅग्नेटिक फील्ड इन अकॉर्डिंग टू क्रिस्टल फील्ड थिअरी हिन्स द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज सी एन then which is the example of ionization isomer mi tumhala maga she ionization isomer chi concept sangitle baga ja madhe fakt exchange of ion asel so4 ani br he don ions exchange asel counter ion bracket madla ion ani bracket cha outside aslela ion ya madhe jar exchange asel tar tumhi to ionization isomer asa identify karu shakta so ha jo pehla option ahe tya madhe baga एस ओ फोर आणि बी आर आहे आणि इकडे बी आर आणि एस ओ फोर आहे सो यालाच तुम्ही काय म्हणू शकता आयनायझेशन आयसोम जो आउटसाइड ब्रॅकेट आहे आणि इनसाइड ब्रॅकेट आहे ह्याच्यामध्ये जर चेंजेस असेल फक्त एक्सचेंज होत असेल तरच तो होतो आयनायझेशन आयसोम सो आयनायझेशन आयसोम कॅन बी आयडेंटिफाय बाय युझिंग द एक्सचेंज ऑफ आयसो काउंटर आयन काउंटर आयन फक्त एक्सचेंज होत असेल लिगेंड सेम असलं पाहिजे काउंटर आयन डिफरंट असलं पाहिजे पहिल्या वेळी जो काउंटर आयन आहे तो नेक्स्ट टाइम ला असता नाही तो आउटसाइड द ब्रॅकेट असेल तर तुम्ही त्याला आयनायझेशन आयसोमर्स असं कन्सिडर करू शकता देन द आयनायझेशन आयसोमर फॉर द सी आर एच टू ओ सिक्स दिस दिस क्वेश्चन आस इन आय आय टी जे ई एच टू ओ सिक्स सी एल एन ओ टू सी एल आता यामध्ये बघा फक्त तुम्हाला जे सेम राहिलं पाहिजे एच टू ओ फोर एनओ टू सेम राहिलं पाहिजे जे काउंटर आयन आहे तो सेपरेट झाला पाहिजे चेंज असला पाहिजे सो याचं जे आन्सर आहे ते This is the correct answer. Then what is the effective atomic number for the nickel? Nickel is the effective atomic number which are like effective atomic number. So effective atomic number is the formula is Z minus X plus 2NL. So Z minus Z means its atomic number. मायनस एक्स एक्स मीन्स ऑक्सिडेशन स्टेट ऑफ सेंट्रल मेटल आयन्स टू इंटू एन एन मीन्स नंबर ऑफ लिगॅन्ड अँड एल मीन्स नंबर ऑफ कोऑर्डिनेटेड बॉन्ड फॉर्म बाय द लिगॅन्ड सो झेड मायनस एक्स प्लस टू इंटू एन एल सो हिअर ट्वेंटी एट इज अ ऑक्सिडे ट्वेंटी एट इज अ एटॉमिक नंबर झेड ऑफ निकेल देन For complexes, it is 28 into minus 0 plus 2 into 4 into 1. So total oxidation uh, En is 36. So 36 is the effective atomic number for the nickel CO4. You can tally this Z minus X plus 2 NL. So 36 is the correct answer. So you can uh, study the effective atomic number. we can stop here next